see, I was going through a lot of men's underwear. <laughs> Fruit at the loom. My husband loves them. You know, the kind with, with the expando seat. Because <laughs> he likes to sit roomy. Yeah, I know how he feels, lady, but uh, let's get on with it. Well, I paid for him with this bill. And where did you get this bill? From my purse. And who put it there? I put it there. Lady, where was it before you put it there? Oh! Oh, in the kitchen. In the can where I keep my house money. One of them old orange pico cans that they used to put the tea bags in before the war. WW2, the big one. Aren't you a woman with three prior arrests? Oh, no. Just a minute here, Herb. Lady, what we're trying to get at here is, who put this money in your hand before you put it in your tea can? Because whoever it was could be guilty of a federal crime. I'm sorry. I ain't talking. <laughs> tick a lock. What is tick a lock? My kids do that. They take an imaginary key and then they uh, lock their lips. Yeah. And then they take the key and swallow it like this. If your lips are locked, how did you get the key in there to swallow it? Did you ever go under the name of Agnes D'Annunzio? Herb, please. Now, Mrs. Bunker, you're gonna have to talk to us sometime. Oh, I would love to talk to you. Any other time but now. You know, we can keep you here until you do talk. Oh, no, you can't. I know my rights. I learned him on Hawaii 5 <laughs> The time that the thief was trying to smuggle some diamonds in a hollowed out pineapple shell out of Waikiki. <laughs> and Lieutenant McGarrett was chasing him in a helicopter. And then the thief had these friends that was hiding in some tall sugar cane that was taller than them. So the helicopter couldn't see him, and Lieutenant McGarrett was so mad. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I ain't talking. Mrs. Bunker, if you withhold information from us, you could be charged with counterfeiting. Now, will you talk? <laughs> Herb, you want to see if you can crack this nut? If she's Agnes D'Annunzio, she's too smart for me. 